this review we're looking at another version of the big Komatsu PC-1250-11 excavator. And this version is different from the standard excavator because it's got a Lenhoff quick coupler. Let's turn over the big box and underneath we can see that the model is made by NZG and it's model number 9992. Out of the box come the usual pair of expanded polystyrene trays and they're helpfully marked top and bottom. And they are factory sealed with some tape, so we need a knife to cut it. Off with the lid and we can see that the model is securely packed inside for shipping. It has some soft paper to protect it and there are also some pieces of black foam. This is an excavator and the model seems determined to excavate the inside of the box and it doesn't want to let go. The teeth on the bucket seem to be biting hard, but we're not going to be beaten. This model is coming out. Once it's set free, there are a couple more things to get out of the box. One is an aggressive ripper tooth, and the other is a bag of spare track links. Just a bit more packaging to remove, and that includes some cling film that's protecting the crawler tracks and holding them in place during shipping, and some tape around the quick coupler. But there's no assembly to do because it's completely out of the box. <laughs> As usual we start underneath and the crawler tracks which are metal have nice track pads with detail and there's also some detail on the inside of the track frames as well as the bottom of the undercarriage and the bottom of the body. Here you can see the tracks in close up and the detail on the frame on the outside and there were working rollers too. There's a beacon light and aerial on the roof and there's some serious protection which is metal on the top and plastic on the front. And one particularly fine detail is the mesh walkway outside the cab. Viewed from the top the details are really nice. The boom pipes are modelled in soft plastic and looking inside you can see a slewing motor and there's other pipework which adds detail. The stepping surfaces are clearly marked and the detailing is further enhanced by silver highlighting on some of the parts. At the back the engine cover is metal with plastic intakes and exhausts and it's good to see proper lifting eyes on the counterweight. There are also video cameras and work lights. At the back the graphics on the counterweight are very sharp, and although the grills on the side are solid, they are metal. There are more sharp graphics, and all of the handrails are metal. The boom has got some work lights modelled, and there are more soft hydraulics including pipes and hoses. Hydraulic connections are modelled, and one of the plus points on the model is that the plastic parts have a very good colour match to the metal parts. The Lenhoff quick coupler is metal and it has the Lenhoff name on it, and the big bucket bears the Komatsu name. The bucket is surprisingly heavy, and it's got some nice sharp teeth. But if you're happy with just one sharp tooth, there's a ripper included. And in the wrong hands, it would be a dangerous weapon. We start with the crawler tracks, and they are quite stiff, but they can be rolled by a hand and the tension is maintained by a spring-loaded idler. If we try rotating the model then we can turn it quite nicely, but it's not silky smooth. The review model was a little bit sticky to start with, but it might ease up over time. What about the movement of the boom and stick? The hydraulics on the boom are quite smooth and it raises up high, and the hydraulics on the stick also perform well, but they are much stiffer. So that does mean you need to be just a little bit careful how you hold the model when you move it, because you don't want to apply pressure to any delicate parts. The movement of the bucket is also very good. Let's try and fold up the model as small as it will go, and it's a good workout for the muscles trying to move the stick right in. But we're tough on cranes etc, and we won't give in. We like to test the depth of digging using our patented technique, and in this respect the model excels. The range of movement on the boom cylinders is excellent, and you get a full box's worth of digging depth. A feature of this model is the Lenhoff quick coupler, so let's hoik out the pin, and the bucket just slides off. And then if we want to fit that big ripper, we just slide it on, and reinserting the pin locks it into position, so the Lenhoff coupler works well. Other working parts on the model include the lowering staircase, and it's always nice to see an opening door, particularly one that opens a full 180 degrees. If you add the demolition excavator version to this model, you can make up a mini diorama. Music 
This is a heavy and solidly made excavator model by NZG. It has the usual hallmarks of a high metal content, and it is a combination of nice detailing and really good functionality. It certainly is a fully priced model, but if you like big Komatsu excavators, then this one is excellent. Thank <music> you.